What's up everybody, it's your boy Busy Blue and I am back again with another The Challenge Vendettas Recap and Review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing episode number 5. Before I get into this, if you like what you see, which I'm sure you will, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Y'all, my subscriber count jumped. So something happened, I really think it's the Big Brother stuff. I'm getting exposed to people that I, I don't think I would have um, any other way. But um, what's up, BB? If you haven't watched my Big Brother review, make sure you watch it. Even if you have watched it, just watch it again. Um, so let's get into it. So this this episode was real good, y'all. I enjoyed it a lot. It starts off with Shane. I actually don't really do like Shane, but Shane's going around. He's nervous. <laughs> about what um, decisions people are going to make. And he's like basically telling people, you know, what you should or shouldn't do. Josh was like, you know, it was so hard to say her name. I had a really big problem saying, are you sure? Because it just came off your tongue when as soon as Brad says something, then you said something. Now he's trying to go around to us. It was so hard to figure out. Bruh, no. Um, as we know, it was Brittany, Josh, Brittany, Sylvia, Josh, and Brad that was on the same team. And, um, once they lost last, the eating competition last, um, with, you know, with Tony had the thok, last, um, episode, you know, basically Brad and Josh was like, yo, was Sylvia go in? Um, so Shayna's like, well, y'all need to really figure out what's, what's going to happen now in the Troika because, you know, this is a very bad decision and, you know, Sylvia's in there now. She, she, I mean, the, by the way that they did her dirty and everybody's thinking that they did her dirty. She actually may have more leverage. People may want to see or do whatever she says. So, Josh, I mean, Shane asked Josh, um, Brad, like, yo, I know you said it. Well, because he was like, well, it's a no brainer. Brad was like, well, it's a no brainer. You know, it's two men. I don't want to have to be put up in the um, in the elimination. It's only one female. What would you have done? And Shane was like, well, what if it was you, um, you Josh, and Brittany? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I, we can't be doing hypotheticals. What if it was you? <laughs> I wanted to know what he was going to say. Uh, but anyway, then we have Cam, Kalia, and Marie talking. And they basically talk about you know, how we got to try to keep the girls alive together. We we need to make we make sure we do this. Y'all know I love Killer Cam. That's why I call her now. I call her Killer Cam. Hashtag Killer Cam. Um... Uh, next up, we have... Oh, you know, I hate talking about that. I... I told myself I was going to talk about this person on my channel, but I would talk about him if he deals with conflict or the storyline. Zach, um, he said he feels horrible about what happened to Sylvia and that he wants to make it right. No, the way that he makes it right, he wasn't on our team, but the way that he makes it right is voting whoever she wants to be voted in into the Troika. And she's like, well, whoever, who are you leaning towards? You know, um... I'm just going to take let me today. He's like, no, whatever you want, I'll help you out. Da, da, da. She's like, well, I feel like I can definitely be Melissa and Kaylee. So if you want to put those people in, I'm fine with that. And then whoever else, that's fine. Um, Tony felt the same way. You know, he got the thoke. He's like, look, I want to do a favor for you. So whatever we can do, da, da, da. So then we got but Natalie. Uh, basically, Bananas and Natalie are talking, and Natalie feels like, now, yo, I'm in a bad position. Like, people don't like me because I have aligned myself with, um, the strongest person in the house. Girl, this, this ain't Big Brother. Okay? And my, um, what's that boy's, um, I can see his face. I don't know. I can't remember his name. But this ain't Big Brother. You can't just align yourself with the nice people and think that this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get America's favorite player. Or house guests. Um... So, Banana's like, yo, we should just do a full fight. And, you know, so people won't think that we're aligned together. But, you know, Natalie's like, okay, I guess, sure, whatever. It ain't happened in this episode, so I don't know. You got Tony and Banana's talking, and then, because Tony and Brad tried to have a conversation. Excuse me, y'all. Um, Brad is basically wanting to know who Tony's going to choose. And, you know, Tony's being very coy. Brad was basically, Brad was basically like, yo, if you don't choose Britney, we good. You know, because Brad and Brittany, they have a thing going on. And if you don't choose her, then we're good. Like, I just want you to make sure that she's not on your radar. Da, da, da. So it's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Well, I told you the man is talking, but it's like, yo, he tried to cut a deal with you. And he's like, yeah. It's like, yo, this boy's trying to do whatever he wants. He's making it worse for everybody else. 
Yo, let me tell y'all this. No, we just be doing it with the black people. Okay? When Corey, when you didn't like Corey, Corey was out. Straight after that, y'all got a chick that he liked. And y'all gonna stay strict with the standard. Stay strict with the standard. Don't just do it for the black people. We know that Brett likes Britney. Britney is an enemy. Get her out. Sorry, y'all. Um, so next we go to the Troika. It's Tony Maria's act. Um, Marie was like, yo. Um, Brittany's not my favorite. Um, Brad's not my favorite um, person. Because I was trying to get pepperoni, no anchovies, you know, pizza. And he had a problem with my order. Um, and since he had a problem with my order, I don't like him. Um, so, I'm not a fan of his. And since I'm not a fan of his... I need to cut them where it hurts. So, let's get, um, I think we have to put Brittany in. She said that her confessional, but as we were going to the Troika, it wasn't just me. I just didn't feel, I felt like she was so iffy with it. I'm okay with looking, looking to this TJ editing. If we know who the quick and easy picks are, I don't need y'all to act like they're doing something big or whatever in the Troika. Britney was going in. That's it. I don't need y'all to make it seem like, well, who else would da, 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 da. Put, uh, put her in, let's go. So we can start the show. Uh, they said Melissa and Kaylee because of Sylvia, so those are no brainers. You know, those were both for each side. Uh, Marie was like, yo, I don't know who should go in after that. Britney! I don't. <laughs> Again, I think that all of, a lot of this is for editing. But yo, just put Britney in. We don't want What we got a question? What, what are we questioning? Anyway, the uh, the Troika comes out and then they finally made a decision. Thank God they chose the right decision and they made Britney, Kaylee, and Melissa. Now, Britney's upset. And I'm thinking to myself, girl, this ain't the first time that something like this has happened. Remember who just left, okay, because of um Corey. Girl, Alicia was out here <laughs> fast. I don't know why you. They, she so shocked. I don't know why it's gonna be me. Da, 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 da. Girl, because you aligned yourself with the person who's in the Troika doesn't like. Anyway, Brittany's mad. Tony was like, yo, um, you're guilty by association. Like, I don't know, understand another way to tell you that. Like, that you're, you're guilty by uh, uh, association. Brad is upset because he came to Tony. It was like, y'all thought we had a deal. If it was me, I would have been like, we did. The two other people, <laughs> they wanted to get Brittany on, on the, the two other people in the Troika. And, you know, I, I had I had no choice. Um, so, anyway, you got Melissa and Nicole talking. Um... Melissa says she needs Nicole because she's done this before. She understands everything. Um, you know, Melissa, she actually is a pirate hooker. You know, she goes from, okay. Um, and Cam, at that same time, she's listening at the door. Now, Killer Cam, I don't know what was going on, but it seemed palm tree shape. Um, Jimmy, she's talking about, um, that, you know, Brittany and Brad, they, they definitely just need to chill. If they don't cost too much, you know, records for themselves or whatever, Brittany would be okay. Carl Maria says that uh, Brad came for Sylvia and Marie, so it makes sense that Brittany's in. Da -da -da. So now it's time for the um, Inquisition. Um, my notes are all over the place. <laughs> I did learn what a slapper was. Okay? A slapper is a sl a hoe, a slag. Now, you two, this is... I'm describing what somebody else is, what they say. So, don't flag me. Uh, Melissa, uh, she says that she shouldn't be here because yo, I chose the team for y'all. Yeah, If it wasn't for me, y'all wouldn't be here. It's like, girl, now I know you went duck lip crazy when you were um, choosing the team, but girl, that's not how this works. Okay? Um, Brittany was confused on why she's there. Um, and basically, Brittany tried to come in talk about some, you know, y'all do a favor for me. <laughs> y'all do a favor for me. You know, Brad's going to grant mercy to y'all. Girl, what? 
Even I was in there like, is she trying it? I feel attacked. I felt attacked. Anyway, so after that, you got Kaylee and uh, Melissa. Um, and basically, Melissa was in there. Kaylee was like, yo, you were in there basically trying to give yourself off uh, to whoever's the highest bidder in the um, Inquisition. And I just didn't like what was going on. But y'all yeah, know. It, it does seem like, you know, Melissa will give herself to the highest bidder. And Kaylee thinks that, you know, you can't sleep your way through. I don't know what shows you've been on. I ain't never watched Are You The One, but it sounds like this is how you get through Are You The One. You can't sleep your way through to get to the end. Like, this is a game of endurance. This is a game of competition. And I saw how you were trying to play it in there, and I don't like it. She's trying to use her feminine wow um, to get through. So, after that, they go to the club. Uh, again, Kalia, uh, Kaylee thinks that Melissa is sleeping her way to the top. Brittany doesn't understand why. Stupid, this girl's so dumb. She don't understand why she's there. I never. And on a show like this, you are a reflection of who you're dating, who you're sleeping with, who you're lying with. This, I think, to no one else, everyone else, it's a no-brainer. Why is she so confused? Um. Uh, anyway, Cam is saying that. Uh, Cam thinks that she has a bad rep in the house. Nicole doesn't care what's going on. Kaylee's trying to convince Nicole that Melissa is playing her. Um, because she sees right through it. And it's like, look, she's using you. Nicole doesn't care. <laughs> Nicole's like, look, if I could get a little bit of a, okay, and a, and a, okay. <laughs> Y'all nasty. Um, if I can get a little bit of a, you know, here and there for somebody, I don't care if she's playing me. I don't get enough. In the outside world, you know, and if I can get a little bit of here, then I'll do it. Um, after that, you got Melissa and Cam. Okay, so this was the big scene that they were hyping up throughout the week. Um, now, I will say this. Cam was a little wrong in how she started. Cam was basically like, um, you know what people think of you? You're disgusting. Like, nobody really likes you. You have a bad rep in the house. Um... And then they really started arguing. Now, to me, they focused so much more on the people who were talking about the fight that I really couldn't understand well, what was it about. I know Cam thought that, yo, Melissa was sleeping her way through the top and she really didn't deserve to be here. Da da da. And you don't mess with Killer Cam. I will say, don't come up. Act like you and Gene get knocked down. Okay? Um, it can't, like, do something. Melissa just, to me, she seemed like somebody who was trying to act like they got something about herself. Well, let me tie up my hair, you know, put it in the ponytail. Girl, for what? Don't mess with Killer Cam. We got this in the back. So, now they're going at each other's face. Everybody seems to have Killer Cam's back because Killer Cam was like, yo, do something. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay in here. You can nudge me. You can butt me. You ain't going to touch me, though. You ain't going to touch me, though. Um, so as that's going on, the other people start jumping in, Jimmy starts jumping in, everybody's now yelling at Melissa, because Melissa truly is a pirate hooker. <laughs> How many of us are pirate hookers? We need to do a pirate hooker AA. Oh no, is it a pirate hooker anonymous? So a PHA? Yo, because <laughs> I'm going that forever. After that... Melissa the other day kept, you're disgusting, you're nasty, don't come near me, this and that. Da, da, da. She wasn't going to do anything, you know, uh, your bark is huge, your bark, you got a huge, you're a chihuahua. In the morning, everything settles down, yo, I'm stuffy. In the morning, everything settles down, it's Cam, it's Nicole, and basically Cam was like, and this is some stuff I would do too. I'm not going to argue with you, I'm not going to fight with you because I know you ain't about nothing. I'm going to go to your person and be like, yo, because this is what uh, Cam did in the morning. Went to Nicole was like, yo, get your girlfriend. And you know, um, Nicole, what are you talking about? I don't understand it. Yeah. Get your girlfriend. She, you know, she got upset with me. She had her problems last night. I'm going to slap box her. Get your girlfriend. Da, da, da. Um, after that, the Troy guys decide what, who they're going to put in. Now, at this point, 
You know, in order to not ruffle any feathers, Kim, um, Melissa's the best choice. It sucks. Brittany, she gets out of this one clean because Melissa made a fool of herself. Um, if anything, Brittany would be thanking um, Melissa. So, after that, um, we learned that Sylvia's sick. You know, well, I feel like she was sick last episode, too, because she, you know, shivering or whatever. But anyway, we go to the game. TJ was saying, you know, welcome back. This is not an elimination. Kim um, was talking about what's happening. Melissa was saying, you know, she's a bully. That Kim is a bully. That's what's happening. She's bullying me. Don't speak to me. You're irrelevant. Da, 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 da. Girl, I wanted to just knock Melissa right here at the top, <laughs> top of her head for her to just shut up. Anyway, Melissa was voted in. Easy decision. So it was Melissa and um, Sylvia. The uh, game was called Oil and Water. Um, basically, um, it's an oil pit. Or they pour oil in themselves in a water pit. And then he throws the um, a ball down. And they have to get it in the baskets. First, first person to get three wins. Now, Melissa, she got the first one. You know, no question. It was an easy one. After that, I thought I was watching MMA or MAA or whatever. I don't know. It just got ruthless. I was like, oh my, her tooth. I thought I was watching uh, Survivor. You know, I mean, I watched my last Survivor episode. Let me recap. Look at that yoga. Her tooth fell out. What is going on? It just got people was wrapping around her neck. It just, oh my God. Melissa was here to stay because she knew her back was against the wall. She done talked that talk. Talking in all that big talk. And now she got to prove herself. It was just, oh my God, it was a lot. Um, Sylvia got the second one. And then, even in the last one, it was just like, you know, she was, there was, oh, it was just a lot going on. <laughs> so, I didn't know who was going to make it out alive. Um, at the end of the day, Sylvia won. Boom. I was happy because you know what they did her good. Sylvia, look into this. You need to go back there. Don't forget what Brad did to you. And don't forget what Johns did to you. And anybody connected to those two, got to go. They gotta go. No if, ands, or buts about it. They gotta go. That's that. Um, after that, you know, Sylvia was the grenade. For this episode, they tell her what the grenade is, and you get a, you can do the cash thing. Uh, it's one is called endure. You can choose someone to perform an endurance um task. Um, one or one is called order up, and you get to basically choose the order of the performances. Um, Sylvia, she already says Brad and Josh is coming for you, so you gotta be looking out. Um, it was a good episode. I was, I was here for it. Killer Cam is coming. Killer Cam is here. Don't mess with Killer Cam. Um, so yeah, that was basically it. What y'all feel about the episode? I'm glad Melissa's gone. I mean, she was starting to sleep her way to the top, and I just wasn't here for her. I don't know. How y'all felt about it? Um, I don't know. If you like what you saw, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Put a comment down below. How y'all feel about the episode? How y'all feel about Killer Cam? You know, Killer Cam. Um, how y'all feel about Melissa being gone? Where is the pirate hooker? <laughs> um, how y'all feel about Brad and Josh? I think that it's, it's their time now. I know Josh cleans the house naked, but it's time for you to go. Um, so yeah, give this uh, video a thumbs up. Y'all, I'll be cutting off right at the end. At the end of the day, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you felt about the video. Um, let me know how you felt about the episode. <clears throat> if you want to know more about everything that I do, follow me busy on Facebook, the Busy Blue, or you can follow me on my social media platforms of Twitter and Instagram, Busy Blue, no space, no E. I'm going to go get busy, and you guys stay busy. On till next time.